Come along with us as we show you our favorite camping gear. Hey everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Susan and we're RV Blogger. And today we're gonna to be talking about our favorite RV camping gear. Now what I mean by favorite gear is this is the stuff that we use every time we go camping. Right, some of it is essential gear that you have to have and then others just really make our camping experience a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, now some of the gear that you'll see today we've we've used for four years now and it's held up to the test of time so we're very comfortable showing you this gear because we right. know it lasts right and then other stuff is brand new mm -hmm. and we sort of learned over time like hey you know let's use this product instead of that because it works better so come along with us as we show you our favorite camping gear so some of this gear you may have seen in previous videos of ours, but it's worth mentioning again because we love it that much. One is our zero gravity chairs. Comes with a side table here where you can put cups, your tablet, your cell phone, a crossword puzzle. Does come off so it makes it easy for storage. Reclines back, day or night. This is a perfect chair. You can even lock it in place. This is our side table. We have had this even longer before than we were camping. It's super conveni convenient. It breaks down into a nice carrying case, but it's got this great bottom shelf for cup holders, super sturdy. So this, this we absolutely love. We have our Thermacell. I had heard reviews about Thermacell and I thought, man, we've got to give this a chance because, you know, nobody wants to be pestered by mosquitoes and we really do love this. We, we do find that this does work for us. Our rug down here, easy to wash off if you need to, folds up nicely, but it keeps the debris out of the RV. And we've had this since day one, you know, so for four years we've had this. Same here with our rug here that we use to wipe off our shoes. It's a plastic grass, so it's great for getting in the grooves of your shoes. Keeps it again, once again, easy for getting, keeping your RV clean. Our step stool because you know sometimes it's a huge step up to get inside your RV depending on where you are so this just makes it a little bit easier to try to you know burden the step into the RV <clears throat> so we think it's extremely important to have some type of tablecloth for your picnic table because these picnic tables have been out in the rain and the elements who knows what's been on there we've seen people put their sewer hoses on there clean fish <laughs> So I prefer sweep off the table, put on this really nice uh, seat covered tablecloth, comes in handy. And then our collapsible trash can, you will notice that I like collapsible. Collapsible saves space. So this is a super nice collapsible with a lid, zips up, you know, keep the flies out. So we love our trash can. Our collapsible bucket we have right here has so many purposes. Right now what we're doing is we're collecting the air conditioning water <laughs> off our rooftop. And at the end of the night, when we wanna douse our fire, we can just take it on over to the fire, put the fire out. We're not wasting any water. We're just collecting it off of our air conditioning unit. And of course it stores because it's collapsible, takes up very little space. We also use that collapsible bucket when we're trying to conserve water. So if we are washing dishes and we don't want to fill up our gray water tank, we'll put that in so we're boondocking or we have limited space, we don't have full hookups, put that in our kitchen sink, wash our dishes. Once again, we can take that water douse our fire with it. If we're trying to run the hot water in the shower, but again, we don't want to fill up our gray tanks, we put that in there, let the water run a while till it gets hot. You know, anything that you can do to conserve space in your gray tanks or your holding tanks, it will be beneficial. These gear items could certainly be considered essential because you have to have them every time you go camping, but we're putting them in our favorites list because we really like the way they work and they've held up for years for us. First of all, we have all of our sewer gear, starting with my gloves. These are from Gloveworks. These are super heavy duty. They come with a diamond pattern on them so you can grip things very easily. They're the best gloves I've ever used. Second of all, we have our Rhino Flex sewer hose and I actually keep two of these on board. I have two 10 footers. If one breaks, I have a spare. If I'm too far from my sewer connection, I can connect the two together and reach up to 20 feet. Third of all, 
I have my, R, my uh, sewer weights, and these just make sure that it holds the connection nice and steady and in place where it dumps into the sewer pipe. And then I've got our sewer hose holder, and this makes sure I have a positive gravity flow from the RV all the way down to where it dumps. Finally, I have our Rhino Blaster. Now, for you folks with newer RVs, you don't need this. You can just connect right to your RV and clean your tanks or flush your tanks out. For those of us with older RVs, this is really a time saver because we can fill the tanks from outside through a dedicated sewer hose, not your freshwater drinking hose. That will fill the tanks. It has a separate gate valve that we can open and close. So once you fill your tank, you can pop the gate valve and everything will flush out just really helps to maintain everything. We do this whenever we're at a dump station. I never really want to connect it to our fresh water connection in the campground. So that takes care of all of our sewer stuff. So for our water items, our first item is our water pressure regulator. This makes sure that we never overpressurize the RV because that can actually spring a leak in some of your RV plumbing pipes within your RV. And if your hose is worn at all, it can even pop your hose. So a pressure regulator ensures that never happens. Now, we recently just switched over to this zero G fresh water hose. These are fantastic because when they're not full of water, you can easily just fold them right up into a very small area. So they're very easy to store. We used to use our never kink hoses and these are good hoses too. We've had this thing for four years now and it's held up extremely well, but the zero g folds up much smaller and it's a lot easier to handle um, we still keep this on board so if we need more than 25 feet we have another 25 footer we have 50 feet of water hose extension so we're good to go now you'll also notice we have a two-stage water filter that we use with our rv as well the first stage is a five micron filter the second stage is a one micron filter so we really get good filtered water and then finally, I have this 90 degree elbow that we attach the hose to, and this takes a lot of stress off of the city hose connection. So therefore we make sure this doesn't break and the hose itself doesn't get a kink in it either. Now for our electrical, we always recommend that you get a surge protector. We like the portable surge protector that just plugs right into the uh, outlet here and then you plug your RV into it. It just makes sure if there's a thunderstorm, and you get a burst of current or the current's too low, which can also hurt your appliances inside your RV. This prevents either one of those cases from happening. Now you can buy these as portable, which we have, or you can buy the kind that are hardwired into your RV. Really, it doesn't matter which one you get, just make sure you have a good RV surge protector. One other piece of gear that we absolutely love is our Class C RV window shade covering. Now you can buy these for Class A, Class B, or Class C RVs, and they're made to fit whatever model of RV that you have. So we have a 2008 Ford E350, so we bought the cover to fit this particular RV. Now the thing we like a lot about this is it's got these side panels on it that you can roll down, and then behind the panel is a mesh screen. So we can open the driver's cab windows on both sides and get more air ventilation through our RV. And then this screen covers it so flies and bugs can't fly into the RV. So it's really great. And it also adds space inside the RV. So why don't we head inside and we'll show you how that works too. So most Class C RVs have a little privacy curtain that you would snap into place. But the problem with this is it sort of cuts you off from the front of your RV and we use our front seats for storage all the time when we're camping. So without this curtain here and with our windshield cover as our privacy curtain now, it just opens up the whole RV. We can easily access the front seats for storage and it just makes life a whole lot easier. This window cover, we've had it for over four years now. It's survived 60 mile an hour winds and everything you can imagine. And that thing is held up really, really great. The other thing we use is a tower fan. Now we can set this up 
inside of our RV and when we're camping in the spring and the fall, we have the windows open, but we need a little more air movement, we'll just set up our fan. Usually we put it right on top of the dinette and just let it swivel and blow air all around. We've also used our fan outside when we're camping. And if it's a super hot day, but we're sitting outside, we'll just have the air blowing on us. Super hot nights. We like we still like a campfire even in the summertime. <laughs> and we've actually set up the fan to blow on us while we're sitting near the fire and enjoying all that. And then finally, we use this fan to help ventilate around our refrigerator. Sometimes when we're beach camping especially, there's no shade. And if the sun hits the side of our RV, right where the refrigerator is, it can get very hot causes our refrigerator to warm up and so what we do is we lay this on the floor in front of the RV it blows air through the vent under the refrigerator and blows the hot air that accumulates around the refrigerator right on out so it helps our fridge to stay cooler so like I mentioned earlier with the collapsible bucket I love collapsible items they're just space savers and super easy to use for example we have the storage containers that are perfect for leftovers um, they collapse down these can be microwaved they can be frozen uh, we have a tea kettle which is perfect if you're boondocking if you don't have hookups or you know you're just cooking on a propane stove we can use this for uh, boiling our hot water for tea hot chocolate even instant coffee and that's been useful more bowls and we have a colander um, this can even sometimes Sometimes I even use this as a fruit basket. I might set it on the table. So, you know, you can find multi-uses for it. In addition, we have our dish drain over here that is also collapsible. And it has a little tray out here where we can dump our water. So this has come in handy. And again, this is stuff that we use every single time we're in the RV. And then we have a stove top shelf that uh, has come in handy because as you can see we have zero countertop space so this shelf serves as a prep station our coffee maker our toaster our dish drain everything we use on this and it is also adjustable depending on what type of rv stovetop that you have a lot of the newer stovetops come with covers already but if you have a used rv or one without a cover uh, this is definitely a uh, necessity for getting you some additional countertop space. Not a very glamorous item, but a very important item is some type of dehumidifier. Now we have damp rid in the RV all the time. And as you can see, uh, we had to get a new one because it uh, was completely dissolved, which means it's doing its job. So we always recommend you need to reduce the humidity inside your RV. You can have electric or battery operated or this very user friendly damp rid. This is what we use. Another one of our favorite camping gear is our eco-friendly laundry detergent by Earth Breeze. So rather than having a big heavy plastic jug of laundry detergent that you have to carry up to the laundry room and back and store in your RV, these are just little sheets of detergent. We toss them into our basket, take it up to the laundry room with us, and then we have less that we have to transport and less we have to store. And it kind of keeps our wardrobe smelling a little good too. One other piece of gear that has quickly become one of our absolute favorites is our brand new mattress in our RV. We had the old crappy mattress that was probably in here since this was a brand new RV. We replaced it with a Tocta mattress, which has just been amazing. We're comfortable when we sleep, no more back aches when we wake up. We actually made a whole nother video about our Tocta mattress and we'll post that above so you can click on it and check that out if you'd like. So these are our newer pieces of RV gear that we absolutely love. And these are electric bikes and they are an absolute game changer. We used to go drive around with our regular 10 speed bikes everywhere. And as long as the ground was flat, we were fine. We could pedal around and be absolutely fine. But when we are in areas that are very hilly, we found ourselves really unable to make it up the hills anymore. So we decided to go ahead and get electric bikes. These bikes are fantastic. Um, and the price point on them is really better than any of the other electric bikes that we found out there. They have a great battery life. They are easy to use and we just absolutely love them. 
So since we got electric bikes, we had to get a new bike rack. Now, when we had our 10-speed bikes, we used a ladder mount bike rack, which was fantastic. It was a Swagman ladder mount, and it worked great for that purpose, but the electric bikes are too heavy for that. So we needed a new bike rack. We got a Thule bike rack that mounts right into our hitch, and this thing is really, really great. So now we have our bikes loaded on board the bike rack, and this rack, we love it. Uh, it can hold up to about 130 pounds of weight, which will carry two electric bikes, because our bikes weigh about 62 pounds each. And when we have the rack installed, we can't open our back compartment to the RV, but it's got a nice feature where you just step on this little clip, and the whole thing folds right down, and this is perfect because now we can open our back compartment and get to our gear inside of here. Or if you have a pickup truck, it allows you, allows you to lower your tailgate uh, while your bikes are loaded on there too. So fantastic product, we absolutely love it. Let us know what camping gear is your favorite in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. We hope you've enjoyed checking out our video today. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And please subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. So for Mike. And Susan. Thanks for watching. Leave your campsite better than how you found it and we'll see, see you, you next time. time.